Okay, we decided on electric bikes so we could tow a trailer behind us because in the motorhome and sometimes you are limited to how close you can get to places so we thought if we had the bikes we could tow the dogs we could go a bit further um, if you have a caravan you've already got your vehicle but in a motorhome you can be restricted sometimes because we've got three dogs getting on a bus or getting a taxi or having a motorized scooter behind the motorhome is really not an option with three dogs i know we're going to struggle three dogs and a trailer but hopefully we can manage something and we can go a bit further so we got our electric bikes because having had a disabled dog we found it extremely difficult towing a bike trailer with a dog behind going uphill and this was 20 odd years ago um, so we decided electric bike make it easier to go up the hills with the towing the dogs and with that in mind we were going to get a normal child's trailer or a dog trailer um, but we decided that the single wheel might fit our, our lifestyle a bit better it's narrower and if you're off trail it's supposed to be easier and less likely to tip up but we're a bit unsure whether the dogs because of the movements of a bit more with them in they would take to it so we bought this as a trial run super impressed Super impressed with the stand. Super impressed with the ease that it fits on and off the bike. Um, the suspension for the dog so that it don't feel every bump. Super impressed with that, although it does need backing up on ours. And we have done um, some ties. So we can just strap them in with the harness into the back of the trailer to keep them safe whilst we're traveling out on roads. Breaking times. Da, da, da. This is the new trailer. The wheel and the instructions. Welcome. <laughs> what do I think of this new Burley Coho XC trailer? Well, it's shiny. That's because it's straight out of the box. Um, it's very well made, um, but it's quite expensive as well. As you can see, it's only got one wheel. But that's a good thing because it means we can go down narrow tracks with it in rough terrain. Um, and to cope with the rough terrain, it's actually got back suspension, which is adjustable. Look at that. Lovely little yellow spring there. Um, lots of space for the dog. Well, for one dog in particular anyway. Um, it all collapses down, so the wheel and the mudguard come off and fold into here. I believe, I've not tried that yet, I will try it in a minute, because Tiffany put it together out of the box. <laughs> She's a good woman. And this is the bit that attaches to the cycle. That comes off as well and goes in there, so the whole thing collapses down to this size. And that is going to enable us to take it with us in the motorhome. In fact, we'll be taking two. In theory. Yeah. We've also got a lovely little kickstand, which, when out, will hold the bike up as well. Now, the bike, the trailer, sorry, attaches to the bike via these two receivers 
and on the bike there are two balls sticking out either end of the axle and this locks down onto those balls and then this yellow handle here enables you to pull it and then the trailer comes off the balls on the bike um, so it's really that simple how good is that with the markings on it so uh, it's got a part number and then um, it's actually got M12 which is the thread size and the diameter of the shaft um, and then it's got the pitch for the thread which is 1.75 um, which is quite good and there is the new axle slid into place we've put one washer on it at the moment to try it and see whether or not there's enough thread sticking out of the other side we need to torque this up to 12 newton meters and if you look at the other side you'll see that the thread has come out and that will enable us to screw on with a washer the other ball it look well no not this way in there come on good girl get in there no in it good girl in in come on then good girl in you go it's an epic fail stay there you very good girl that's good, isn't it, Mum? Yeah, it's never. Good girl. Now stay never, there. Luna. Stay there. Good. Good girl. Sit down. Good. Stay there. Stay. Good girl. Stay there. Good, Luna. Come. Get your stick. Let me get. In your car. I'll go first. Okay. Tell I've got it on, because it's empty. I'm not to get off a bike. Get the wheel off, and then there's a quick release for the actual frame here that holds the wheel on. And then that all goes inside here. And then at the front of the steering bit and the bit that attaches to the bike, we just release that, pull the pin out, and then put this frame in there as well. There's even going to be room for some of my beer in there. We found the trailer with weights in at first to be quite wobbly. It was fine in a straight line and we soon got used to riding with it. We just had to remember when turning corners not to lean but rather turn the handlebars and stay more straight upwards. If you remember to use the handlebars rather than leaning the trailer was easier to manoeuvre and gave less feedback. The weight did tend to throw the rear end out which was a Initially quite disconcerting, but you soon got used to it. So just been out and actually didn't find it as bad as I thought it would be. Just need to take corners really slow. Um, but yeah, we had 20 kilos plus the shopping in it and uh, yeah, all good really. It's going to be different with the dogs in, I think. Oh, stopping is also a problem. So, Luna. So, Luna. The humans have had their first lesson with your car. Your bike trailer. You've got to do yours soon. I know. It's sad. Life's hard. Okay, the candidate for the first guinea pig 
is Mia, who's nearly 16, a German short haired pointer. Um, she's been in bike trailers before and she's the lightest. Get out, Mina. Uh, but it's not going to be you because you've been a bit unwell in the last week or so. So she's going to have a well deserved rest and treats anyway. Aren't you? Good girl, Mia. Okay. Hup. Hup. Okay. Candidate number two for the guinea pig is Zena, our English pointer, who's nine years old. Um, she's the biggest of our dogs, 26, 27 kilos. Um, she's usually really good at training, but she's a bit nervy and a bit scary. So, on that basis, you're not going to be the guinea pig. No, good girl. Sit, good girl. Okay, this is Luna, our Hungarian Vizsla, who's four. And uh, she's the middle dog, she weighs about 22 kilograms ish. Candidate number three is going to be the guinea pig. You're going to go in the trainer, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Good. Good way in, that's it. Sit down, sit. 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 Stay there. Good girl. Stay, Stay there. Good girl, Lena. Yeah. Stay. Good girl. She's a good girl. Good girl in your car. She's a good girl. That is good. Good girl. She's so clever. Steady. Steady. Good girl. That's good. Hey, a clever girl. That's good girl. Stay there. Stay. Such a good girl. Um, and actually, it has been easier than we thought once we got going with Luna. Zena appears to be okay in it, uh, but we haven't really taken her out on the road yet. So. Uh, Mia will be fine because she's been in trailers anyway and she was super fine at getting in and out with them, no problem whatsoever, but it was a double-wheeled child trailer at the time. Early days, we were still training them, so the dogs were really happy at getting in there. Uh, but hopefully we'll be able to go further from the motorhome once we're out and about, once we're allowed to get out. And yep, it's a thumbs up so far. Should we rock it a bit? Hey, you're all right with that, hmm? Bit of rocking going on. That's such a good girl. Next week is a shocker.